become a statistic. When someone says that they don't want to become a statistic, it means that they don't want something bad, unfortunate, unwanted to happen to them. Drive more carefully. I don't want you to become a statistic. Your partner might be begging you to drive safely. Perhaps there's a pandemic and the premier is speaking to citizens. Please stay at home. I know everyone's tired of these lockdowns, but for the sake of your family, don't become a statistic. The early detection of cancer will help prevent you from becoming a statistic. An ad for cancer screening from your local hospital might read. As you can tell, becoming a statistic means that something awful, terrible, dreadful has happened to someone. Governments, scientists, and other groups collect data and information on various topics and use this knowledge to create statistics, such as there are over 687 million undernourished people in the world today. One in six people will die of heart disease. The Canadian unemployment rate as of February 2021 is 8.2%. Statistics is simply the collecting of facts, data, information in large quantities and putting it together to gain insight, knowledge, understanding. Thus, statistics are neither good nor bad, positive nor negative. It simply gives us a better idea of what has happened. There are statistics that cover desirable things and ones that consider undesirable things. The idiom, become a statistic, however, always refers to unwelcome, unwanted, unappealing circumstances, which is why you'll often hear, don't become a statistic. Though don't become a statistic is widely and popularly used to discourage people from something, it is difficult to pinpoint the exact time at which it became a commonplace idiom. It seems, however, that it first appeared in writing in 1947 in the Washington Post in an article by Leonard Lyons quoting Joseph Stalin. If only one man dies of hunger, that is a tragedy. If millions die, that's only statistics. You certainly wouldn't want to become a statistic and have your own personal tragedy added to the data set that includes others who have suffered the same fate. It is important, then, that we take advantage of the statistics available to us to decide how big of a risk various activities, habits, routines, or practices are. Dad, you need to eat healthy and exercise. I don't want you to become a statistic, you might be telling your father. Maybe your friend is starting a business. Make sure that you have enough capital to last at least a year without a profit. I wouldn't want your business to become a statistic. We should donate to this charity. Too many people become statistics due to a lack of basic medical care. You might be discussing with your partner. So, 
The next time you want to warn someone that what they are doing is dangerous, risky, unsafe, hazardous, perilous, just say, don't become a statistic.